In 1955, Pan Am Flight 914 headed for Miami took off from New York City and disappeared, only to reappear almost four decades later. The flight, scheduled to last for just a few hours, lasted for 37 years, eventually showing up in Venezuela like it was the most normal thing in the world. The passengers didn't look a day older than when they boarded the flight 37 years ago. This incident would have been the perfect proof that time travel does exist. There might have been flights headed for Miami from New York on the day Flight 914 allegedly happened, but they certainly did not disappear and reappear decades later. So what happened? Who is behind the mystery of Pan Am Flight 914? Let's get to the bottom of it. It all started on July 2nd, 1955, a day that was just like any other typical day. The skies were clear, and the weather had a lovely temperament. Pan Am American Flight 914 was scheduled to leave New York with four crew members and 57 passengers aboard, looking forward to the sunny beaches of Miami, Florida. Except, they never got there. Three hours later, the Miami control tower radars did not register any approaching craft. They did not receive any distress signals either. Upon contacting the New York tower, they received the strangest news. The airliner, which was supposed to have arrived at the destination airport in Miami, seemed to have disappeared into thin air. The plane had vanished from the radars, and air control could not reach the pilot on the radio. It appears the aircraft was lost, but there was no trace of the pilot or passengers, and no calls for help. The investigation began immediately. The flight route indicated that the plane was supposed to have flown over a part of the Atlantic Ocean. The only logical explanation for its disappearance was that it had crashed into the ocean. Rescue teams were immediately deployed to search for the possible wreckage of the plane, and the Coast Guards were scanning the water for any indication of the aircraft and its passengers. But they found nothing. It was the strangest of things. How could 61 people aboard a plane, including passengers and crew, cease to exist along with the plane they were in? With nothing left to do, the authorities eventually released an official statement claiming that the plane had crashed and that none of the people aboard had survived. But the case was never solved. Grieving relatives of the passengers were left with nothing but a truckload of questions and a heart full of pain. They couldn't even give their loved ones a proper burial since the bodies were never recovered. The case was swept under the rug and everyone moved on, until 37 years later. It is September 9th, 1992, in Caracas, Venezuela, a day just like any other for the staff of the air traffic control of the Caracas airport. One of them was Juan de la Corta, an air traffic controller. He was going about his regular routines, making some comments on a flight in progress, when he observed a strange occurrence. The radar had picked up a new aircraft movement as if a plane had materialized out of the skies. De la Corta had never been in this situation, so he chalked it up to a mistake in the readings. Except it wasn't. De La Corta and his colleagues were about to have the most unbelievable experience of their careers. In just about 10 minutes, they observed an airplane approaching the airport. The first thing that stuck out was the plane was ancient. It was an outdated DC-4 McDonnell Douglas passenger aircraft that used obsolete propellers instead of the modern turbots. Planes like this were out of fashion, even though they were used occasionally in some places. It got weirder when the pilot of the mysterious aircraft contacted the tower asking, where are we? De La Corta, who was in charge then, responded that they were closing in on the Caracas airport and asked where they were headed. The pilot answered, we are Pan Am Flight 914, headed from New York to Miami, Florida, with a crew of four and 57 passengers aboard. What could a Pan Am flight headed for Miami possibly be doing at an airport in Caracas, 1,100 miles away from its destination? How did it even get there? De La Corta asked for more information. He was not prepared for what he heard next. According to the pilot, the flight was scheduled to land at the Miami airport by 9.55 a.m. on July 2nd, 1955. Confused, De La Corta cleared the plane for landing to avoid further complications. He believed even if the pilot had gone insane, there were other people aboard to either verify or debunk his claims. Once the plane had landed safely, De La Corta asked the question that had bothered him. He asked the pilot, Did you know today is May 21st, 1992? 
there was a pause on the other end. At this point, each man probably assumed the other was mad. Flustered, the pilot said to De La Corta, What are you talking about? You are hugely mistaken. At this point, De La Corta ordered airport security to approach the plane and escort the passengers and crew. No sooner than he had given this order than the pilot did the unexpected. The pilot's panicked voice across the radio was saying, No, stay away, we're leaving now. True to his word, the pilot started the engine again and taxied the plane to the runway without waiting for takeoff clearance. De La Corta tried to stop him over the radio, telling him he was putting the lives of his passengers and crew in danger. The pilot paid him no mind. He drove to the runway, accelerated, and took off. For a while, the plane could be seen in the sky. Then it became a dot on the radar, and even that dot disappeared. The aircraft had vanished, just as mysteriously as it had disappeared. The air traffic control staff were beyond shocked. In less than an hour, they had witnessed a plane with 61 people aboard appear out of nowhere only to disappear again. It was as though they had experienced a collective hallucination. They never found the plane, until today, no one knows what happened to its passengers. Now let's take a few steps back. Legend has it that the Pan Am Flight 914 saga started on July 2nd, 1955. That is false. It began in 1885, when a seedy little tabloid Weekly World News published the story seven years before it allegedly happened. The paper, now a website, specializes in crazy, out-of-the-world stories like that of Flight 914, but for some reason, people believed it. They ran the story twice more, in 1993 and 1999, perhaps to make it more credible, seeing as the plane did not return until 1992, according to their report. The story became even more widespread when the YouTube channel Brightside posted a video about the plane's disappearance. Today, the video has over 22 million views. Towards the end of the video, the narrator acknowledged that the story was false, but it appears the majority of the viewers did not get to that point. As with any false story, the Pan Am Flight 914 saga has many parts that don't add up. Firstly, not a single scrap of evidence can be found that the plane even existed. Paranormal enthusiasts are quick to point out there was a piece of evidence from the aircraft. They are referring to a pocket calendar dated 1955 that the pilot allegedly dropped before he took off again. But like every other part of the story, there is no evidence that this calendar exists. Weekly World News used two different pictures of Juan de la Corta in the three different prints of the story. Because the story never actually happened, they had to rely on images from other sources to use as the picture of Pan Am Flight 914. The most substantial evidence that debunks the story is the fact that not a single credible publication covered the incident, and an event as big as that would have caused significant ripples in the media. Also. The video uploaded by Brightside included many details that were not part of the original publication. The video cited two dates as the day of the plane's arrival at the Caracas airport. The video also alleges that the aircraft was visible on the radar at some point, which was not in the original publication. All shreds of evidence point to Pan Am Flight 914 never happening. Nonetheless, the story has become an urban legend, with many versions retold over the years. Some versions of the tale extend to the part where the plane passengers returned to their families without having aged a day, while all the people they knew had aged naturally. Some accounts of the story say that different doctors examined the passengers, the crew, and the pilot, none of whom found anything wrong with them medically. As strange as this story is, many people believe it happened. The story frequently pops up in UFO and time-traveling communities. One of the most popular theories about the story is that the plane passed through a sort of time portal or wormhole, which made it arrive in Venezuela decades later, rather than in Miami at the scheduled arrival date. Some theories even suggest that after the plane took off from the Caracas airport, it went back through a wormhole. What is your opinion? Do you think it is all a fabrication, or does the story have some substance? Let us know in the comments.